Good afternoon, guys. Okay. Today's lesson, Saturday lesson, is based on the, the paragraph of the leaders it last. And uh, after today's lesson, you guys are going to receive a small exercise based on reading skills and vo vocabulary or structure analysis. And the book that you are going to use is Cambridge, uh, Cambridge IELTS or or FCE. So right here we have the we have a paragraph for you guys to study today. And this one is uh, okay. So this one we are going to take the words from the paragraph to develop the ground map. Actually, both the A10 pilots in the air and the troops on the ground would prefer to see each other with their eyes. This is the first sentence, and uh, we hope we hope that today we are going to go through five sentences. So first of all, please read from uh, the very first sentence to okay to the word if needed. I'm going to give you guys like one minute uh, to read from Adelie to if needed. So please read first. Yeah. Yes. So here comes the uh, here comes the paragraph. First of all, we have the word like ideally. Yeah, and this one I ideal, or you can have the word like idealistic, idealistic, ideal. Okay, ideal. Something is ideal to you. Ideal is an adjective uh, for you. So if something is ideal for you. It is uh, it is very it's like uh, something is very extraordinary extraordinary and okay and it uh, it is very attractive very attractive and ap and uh, one more thing it is absolutely abso absolutely appropriate appropriate for you appropriate for you. Ideal is, uh, ideal, sorry, ideal right here. For example, I can say that an ideal friend, if you have an ideal friend, that kind of friend match, okay, that kind of friend match, match with you, okay, perfectly match with you, match with your personality. So if I say that somebody, okay, perfect, perfectly match with something else or with somebody else, that means that that kind of person is appropriate and suitable for you. You can say that my ideal friend, my ideal friend perfectly, perfectly matches, okay, matches my, okay, my personality. My personality, that means this kind of ideal friend understand, understands who you are, what you want, and how you perform things in your life. So we can say that the kind of friend perfectly match, okay, match you. And Vietnamese people, once they study English, they usually use the word with to go with the word match. But right here, we don't use with to go with match in American English. So if you say that something match something else, but if you want to use match with, please understand one thing. If you want to use match with, it means that A match, okay, match C, with B. So for example, I want you guys to work in pair. So I'm going to match uh, Zhang with Dundut, for example, in the speaking contest pair. So match C with B. Right here, we have a verb match. So right here, if you want to use the word with, it means that you are going to pair, you are, you are going to pair B with C, P with C, yeah, something like this. Ideal friend, ideal thing, ideal subject, ideal English, ideal university major, for example. And second of all, we have the word uh, ideally. So if you want to say something like ideally, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. So after the, 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 the adverb, ideally, you are going to give me a sentence. Ideally, it means that um, of my interest, of my interest, of my interest, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something of my interests. I I will I will read books on on um, on the weekend because it gives me some kinds of uh, of uh, Gucci feelings about uh, about my papers, about uh, the kinds of feelings of academic 
academic English, okay, academic languages. So of my interests, I choose to to read books on the weekends, along with okay, along with the the the, the melodies played from YouTube, relaxation music, for example. So so if you do something of your interest, or if you if you are interested in doing something, you are going to begin your sentence with the very first word coming out from your mouth. That is ideally of my interests, or you can say that for my preference, for my preference, for my preference, subject verb object, you are going to do something. So, so today is Saturday, right? Okay, so you can say that on Saturday, for my preference, I'm going to watch uh, movies, I'm going to watch vlogs on YouTube, okay, to gain, to gain a lot of insights about daily, daily life matters, about people all around in the world in this pandemic. So if you begin your sentence idly, you begin your sentence with, of my interests, you begin your sentence with, for my preference. People, the listeners, will feel, will feel very attracted to the topic which you are going to deliver to, to, to him or her. So this is the way to get the attention of the listeners. Okay, third of all, we have a word like idealistic. Idealistic, uh, somehow it is much more about, um, it is much more about the theme, the theme, the theme. Uh, every, uh, for example, every word has a theme. Um, so in the English speaking environment, we have a theme. Uh, learn English, play, okay, learn, Eng learn English, play, okay, play English, word English, okay, and live English, for example. So this is the theme. Theme here is, it, uh, it, it's, it's much more about the concept, okay, the concept of your work, the concept of your English studying. This is the way that we are going to that we are going to um, to uh, to conduct the environment in which people will work, will live, will study, will play. Okay, something like this. So idealistic. Once you use the word idealistic, it is much more about the theme. For example, uh, Mickey Mouse Park or or famous theme park or park park. We have two kinds of park. First of all, amusement parks in our life, and the uh, second of all, theme parks in our life. For theme parks, these kinds of parks are built based on concept, based on okay, based on themes. So we can say that this is the idealistic theme parks. When you say idealistic, when when you say idealistic theme parks, people are going to think, oh, the concept. Which uh, the um, the architect or the, the architectures apply to construct these kind of these kinds of parks are very idealistic, are very are very marvelous, are okay, are 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 a one of a lifetime. Nobody can think of such a concept like this. So something idealistic, something or okay, get something idealistic because it is something beyond, okay, beyond, beyond your imagination. So something beyond your imagination it means that uh, it's, it's too much. You, 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 you think that you will never ever in your life will be able to think such of a thing like this. So something beyond your imagination you will never ever be able to imagine such a thing like this, but okay, you go out, you, you go to see the park and you can see, okay, the whole thing, the whole concept of dinosaurs, okay, is built in the park. You can say that, oh, this park is idealistic. Or if you study a subject in your school, so if you study a subject in your school or in your university, in your university, and that subject, and that subject provides, provides, provides you, provides you, okay, provides you with lots of, with lots of knowledge, with, with lots of knowledge, and those, okay, and, and those kinds of knowledge takes your, takes your breath away, takes, okay, we have a phrase like take somebody breath away, it means that those kinds of knowledge, um, 
amazed you. So right here we have a very good sentence in English. Take my breath away. Uh, for example, your idea takes my breath away. It means that your idea amazed me. Your idea amazed your idea amazed me. Amazed me. Your idea make me okay. Make make me surprised. Make me surprised. Okay, surprised. And and your ideas make me okay. Make me feel inspired. Inspired. So if something takes your breath away. It is beyond beauty. It is it is so beautiful. It is okay, highly knowledgeable. That you will use the phrase take somebody's breath away or idealistic. So right here, right here, uh, the very first word of the sentence, ideally. And the second word here, right here, we have the word like would prefer to. This is the phrase, sorry, not a word. I would, I would prefer to use, uh, I would prefer to, to, to use English, okay, 100% in my class because it gives me much more confidence in explanations and introductions. So right here, what I uh, would prefer to is a, is a polite way to say that you, okay, you prefer, I prefer doing something. I prefer studying English. Okay, to studying Vietnamese, for example. So first of all, you prefer verb in number one to verb in number two. If you want to say that something, something, okay, verb in number two, that is the subject or something that you like more than the very first one. So verb in one, right here, and verb in two, right here, subject number one and subject number two. And if you say that you prefer as okay, V1 to V2, it means that you like V2 more than V1. Please remember this. And we have okay, we have a much more uh, pr uh, preferable phrase for you to use. That is the phrase would rather. I would rather talk okay, talk to you than uh, than lock myself lock myself in the room. Okay, isolate myself. From the family, from the society. So you would rather do something than do another thing. This is this is another way for you to say. So right here, would prefer once you say you would prefer to do something. It is about your interests. It is about your hobbies. But if you say you would rather, it is about your choice. Okay, your choice. You feel too tired of listening to your boyfriend or girlfriend or your family or, or, or your family you will say that i would rather go to sleep than listen to your nonsense talk so right here we have a phrase would rather yeah so right here we we'll prefer to we we'll have the knowledge of would rather very nice way or the second one you can say that i want to do this okay i want to do this instead of that instead of that this is the second way for you to say. Right here, okay, I finish delivering the, the, the English lectures based on the very first sentence of the paragraph. So right now it comes to the Vietnamese lecture. 